The fertilizer plant fire continues burning. The skies of Winston-Salem remain filled with smoke. We've got the latest as crews try getting the situation under control. He was like, y'all got to go. We have to go. Can y'all come on? I said, how are we supposed to leave? We don't have a car, my grandma, you know. Thousands have been asked to evacuate their homes, where they are now and what comes next. Plus, the fire spending plumes of smoke for miles. Why city officials say everyone should wear a mask outdoors and some should just stay home. I'm Ben Briscoe. We are digging into this massive fire burning in Winston-Salem. And as the sun goes down tonight, anxieties are actually starting to rise among some firefighters because the wind is shifting out here. We've really seen it with the plume of smoke. At the beginning of today, it was going south, arcing that way, and now it is crooking to the north. You can see it start to change there. That massive fire has caused thousands of people to be asked to evacuate and crews have worked around the clock to get it under control and to make sure people stay safe. WFM News 2's Jenna Cruzina talked with the fire chief a little while ago. Jenna, what do we know right now? Yeah, and Ben, we know that there are a lot of crews helping out with this situation. It is all hands on deck. We have fire crews from around the triad. We have hazmat crews on scene and the EPA came to Winston Salem about an hour ago. They're going to do some air quality testing. Now we do know crews are also staying behind that one mile radius as firefighters have battled the smoke and flames for almost 24 hours now. Crews may not be inside the Weaver fertility for fertilizer plant but they used helicopters and drones to get a better look inside today. Now, Fire Chief Trey Mayo says even though the fire is behaving like they want it to, they aren't out of the woods yet. That's why they're going to keep that one mile radius for at least 48 hours, would which be tomorrow at 7 p.m. I don't know how much more compelling I can be to, to, to try to make people understand the seriousness of this situation. Uh, so, uh, somebody who has spent many decades in the fire service texted me earlier and said this is potentially the largest explosion in U.S. history. I don't know. I don't. I can't magnify it any more than that. Chief Mayo says, you know, crews will eventually be able to get back into the plant to completely ext extinguish that fire. They just don't know exactly when that could be. The minimum could be 48 hours and it could even go seven to 10 days before they can get back inside that plant. Just think about this thing burning for 10 days in the middle of town. You know, we did hear from a Weaver spokesperson today. It's the first time we've heard from the company since the fire started last night. They said they had to make sure all their employees are safe before they wanted to talk. And they say the company will do whatever it takes to fully cooperate with the investigation. The biggest challenge we have ahead right now is you know, keeping them safe and, and worrying about their jobs. We're going to continue to take care of them. We will continue to work with the community and the people who have been displaced. That's our number one goal is to take those who have been displaced and get them back in their homes as fast as possible. People who live in the neighborhood out here started reporting hearing loud bangs and explosions late last night and crews have now been on the scene for nearly 24 hours straight. We're talking crews from Winston, Greensboro, all over battling this thing. Heavy clouds of smoke and massive flames lit up the night sky yesterday. This is video of crews using a drone to get a bird's eye view of the flames. Right now, officials say no one has been injured and no one inside the building was damaged. Now, we want to give you a better sense of what it actually looks like. We got this picture from city leaders last night. Everything inside that circle, businesses, homes, everyone who lives there was asked to evacuate the area. The city includes a circle in Forsyth County Jail and part of the Wake Forest University campus. And take a look at where this is happening. It's not just Winston-Salem, more specifically, think of a triangle between Wake Forest University, Smith Reynolds Airport, and the Target off University Parkway. The company is right there in the middle of that triangle. You know, you've, you remember back a little while ago, we saw a similar fire like this down in Texas. It's hard to forget the massive fireballs down there. In 2013, an explosion at a fertilizer plant in West Texas killed more than a dozen people. 
The West Fertilizer Company had 240 tons of ammonium nitrate. That explosion killed 15 people, injured more than 200, and destroyed 150 buildings. For comparison, the plant in Winston-Salem had 60 tons of chemicals in its plant. Now, crews have reported small explosions in the building since the fire started. Again, what makes this fire so unique is what is made at the plant. You've probably seen a bag just like this. I picked it up at Lowe's today. It is fertilizer, and one of the main components of this fertilizer is this ammonium nitrate. And as that burns out here, doctors are saying that could create some health hazards for you. First off, it is colorless and odorless until it ignites, and it's caused by blast at other industrial facilities over the years. It's caused some problems there too. Winston-Salem Fire Chief Trey Mayo says it is very dangerous, and part of the reason he pulled back fire crews and are focusing on evacuations instead. All of those are signs of a, of a flare or an exacerbation of asthma or COPD. Um, and, and these kinds of exposures um, are well-known triggers uh, uh, of these kinds of flares. That was a Wake Forest professor talking about the warning signs if you are in the area. If you start to have a shortness of breath or wheezing, watch out. Now, city officials recommend everyone in the area wear a mask when outside. They even go on to say the highest grade mask you can get your hand on is what you want to wear. I will tell you, I wasn't wearing a, a better mask in N95 earlier. I had a cloth mask on. Hmm. Just being out here for about 20 minutes, my eyes started watering. I started sniffling, so I had to switch to that N95. I want to bring in Chief Meteorologist Tim Buckley because we're all curious, how far can this smoke blow, Tim? Yeah, Ben, that's a really good question. The most important factor that we'll be watching weather-wise will be the all-important wind direction. So which way is the wind blowing? Where has it been pushing that smoke? So far today, most areas to the west or to the southwest of the flames have been getting that smoke. Today, we're going to start to see that shifting a little bit into tonight. These are our current wind directions and wind speeds across the area. Lately, we're seeing that getting pushed to the north and to the west, and that's generally going to be the change that we notice tonight and sticking around into tomorrow. So if you live to the north or to the west, of where that fire is in Winston-Salem, you're going to be in the line of that smoke and it could extend upwards closer into parts of Surrey County and parts of Stokes. So basically thinking right up Highway 52 to the north is where that smoke will be tonight, tomorrow, and possibly into Thursday. By Thursday, we're looking at a wind shift more out of the south and that will bring our winds or smoke, I should say, a little farther north. So we're going to continue to watch the wind speed and the wind direction very carefully. The areas north and areas to the northwest you have to be careful from that smoke. And of course, firefighters say all of this could get even worse at a moment's notice, according to those firefighters. They say right now things seem kind of under control. The burning has been pretty stable, but that chemical is very unstable. Take a look as that smoke continues to fill Winston-Salem. It could go on for as long as 10 days. We'll be right here with coverage on the ground to keep you updated.